Brandon Flowers on honoring Tom Petty, Cars at Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Killers frontman Brandon Flowers had a big night at Saturday in the post semicolon s Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony. His band opened the show with a passionate rendition of American Girl in tribute to the late Tom Petty, and later, he did the honors of inducting the Cars, one of his key early influences, into the hall. We caught up with the singer to get his thoughts on Petty and oppose semicolon as genius, why he owes everything to the cars and more. Killer's frontman has long cited the band as one of his major influences tell me the most meaningful part of the night for you so far. We had two great moments, obviously. To pay tribute to Tom Petty who has just done nothing but enrich our lives, and then for me to get to induct the cars into the Hall of Fame, I mean, this is a hell of a night for me. People don and oppose semicolon t realize how new wave Tom Petty was. You don and oppose semicolon t associate him with that movement at all, but a lot of those videos, and even some of the sentiments in the songs and the way that they and oppose semicolon represented were very new wave. And then he obviously evolved, which, he was so great at that. Yeah, he didn't and oppose semicolon t feel like an old artist when he died. No. I was just talking about songs like Square One. That was and opposed semicolon T that long ago, he was still bringing heat. And stuff he did with Mud Crutch. He was still just some kind of an endless well of great songs. Did you spend much time with Tom? No, I didn't and opposed semicolon T. We had the opportunity to open for him a long time ago and we were in and opposed semicolon T able to do it, and I never met him. So it and oppose semicolon s sad, for me. But some of the heartbreakers I and oppose semicolon v met, and everybody and oppose semicolon s been really cool, so I and oppose semicolon m just assuming that he was a great guy. And like I said, the songs are eternal, and I and oppose semicolon am grateful for what he did. Elliot Easton of the Cars said that the best part of the night was when you said their name. And they had an oppose semicolon t heard a crowd that begin a long time. What was that moment like for you? I and oppose semicolon am happy to usher it in, man. I feel like it was yesterday that my mom was complaining about the sound that was coming out of the speakers when I had the cars in. And it was Elliot playing guitar. I can and oppose semicolon t believe it and oppose semicolon s been over 20 years now since those moments. But they were the first band I fell in love with, and they set me on the right track. In that time, gangsta rap was massive and kids were starting to listen to that and to grunge. So I feel like the cars. Because I just didn't and oppose semicolon t fit in with either of those scenes, they just really gave me a home and set me on a path which led to the woman that I married and the life that I and oppose semicolon am living, and I and oppose semicolon am really grateful for that. You said something to Rick about your wedding, what was that? All of that too, yeah. Like I said, I think even the woman that I married, it would end oppose semicolon v been different if I was heavily influenced by gangsta rap. Laughs, or grunge. She likes the same music that I do, and so we bonded over that, and so I owe them a lot. They said that they were really thrilled to hear that through your music. Their sound has carried on to a new generation. Oh, for sure. Marrying keyboards and guitars. I mean, Pink Floyd did it well, and The Who did, but the cars fucking and oppose, did it right. And it and oppose semicolon s still something that I struggle with, but that we and oppose semicolon v managed to accomplish on a couple of songs, but they and oppose semicolon re sort of the ones on top of the mountain for that. 